Hello everyone. Today, we'll look at how a variable frequency drive, also known as VFD, works to control the speed of a motor. A VFD consists of three main components, the converter, the filter, and the inverter. The converter, also called a rectifier, is equipped with a set of diodes. This rectifier allows current to flow in only one direction, converting alternating current to direct current. Although the alternating current continuously alternates between positive and negative poles, the rectifier diodes only allow one direction of flow through it. This results, the positive current to flow on the upper path, and the negative current to flow on the lower path or the return path. The alternating current is thus converted to direct current. The black line and the black arrow here, indicate the alternating values of the red phase line sine wave, between its maximum and minimum values. The algebraic sum, that is the values including the plus and minus signs of the red, blue, and yellow phases sine waves, is zero at any point on this graph. When considering the red phase line, voltage values on the negative side of the sine wave become zero, when flowing through the diodes. All three line voltages undergo this change in the converter section of the VFD. After passing through the converter, we receive the positive portions of all three line voltages, or resultant currents, as a DC value. However, this output is not smooth, it contains ripples. To obtain pure, linear DC voltage, the rough DC output must be smoothed. This is the job of the filter, or DC bus. DC bus is equipped with capacitors, and these capacitors convert the rough and ripple voltage into a smooth and linear DC voltage. When voltage is at its maximum, the capacitors are fully charged and begin discharging to fill the DC gaps created during voltage dips. During the upper stroke of the voltage cycle, capacitors are recharged, reaching full charge again at the voltage peak. Purpose of this is to ensure smooth and linear DC voltage, which is crucial for the next stage, inverter operation. In addition to capacitors, reactors with inductors are also present in the filter, to add further smoothness to the DC voltage. The inverter consists of insulated gate bipolar transistors, also called IGBT switches. These transform DC voltage back into AC, but now with variable control function. IGBT switches act as high-speed on-off switches and are connected to a controller inside the inverter. They are highly effective and prevent short-circuiting between the positive and negative DC lines during rapid switching. The dotted line here shows the connection of the IGBT switch to the controller unit. Instead of IGBT transistors, imagine using general on-off switches to simplify the operation of the inverter here. DC voltage is to be supplied to the load through three lines, in a systematic and timely manner now. This recreates a three-phase system again. When the pair of switches circled here is closed, the load receives DC voltage through the red and blue lines at that moment. When the pair of switches are changed, the load receives DC voltage from the blue and yellow lines accordingly. Now the remaining set of switches is closed, and the load gets voltage through the yellow and red lines. These switches open and close in pairs in a controlled sequence. The controller must ensure that top and bottom switches in a pair are never closed at the same time, to avoid short-circuiting the DC mainline. Comparing the three load lines together, pulse width modulation, depending on pulses created by IGBT switches, generates variations in voltage and frequency in the new three-phase output. Controlling the opening-closing time of switches and the frequency of switching cycles, we can vary the voltage and frequency input to the motor. That is how pulse width modulation works. To learn more about pulse width modulation, please click the video link on the top right corner on the screen. Selecting the motor according to the maximum speed requirement initially, and then reducing its speed, using a VFD by controlling voltage and frequency, is the generally accepted practice for speed control of a motor, using a VFD. Hope you got fair knowledge on how a VFD works now. If this video is helpful, please subscribe to the channel. Thank you.